Good evening. It's Thursday, January 21, 2021 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim and this is Sunstar Tonight. A police officer assigned at the Basilica Minore del Santo Niño de Cebu has tested positive for COVID-19. At least 10 contacts have been swabbed and isolated. Scotty Coronel reports. The Cebu City Police Office said that one of their police officers who was assigned at the Basilica Minore del Santo Niño tested positive for the coronavirus disease. Cebu City Councilor Joel Garganera, the Deputy Chief Implementer of the Emergency Operations Center, said the result of the police woman came out last Tuesday, January 19. Garganera said the police was experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 which prompted her to undergo a swab test last Monday at the Regional Health Services Central Visayas. City Police Office Chief Josefino Ligan said the contact tracer are still trying to trace where the police woman possibly got the infection. Garganera said churchgoers who went to Basilica during the Novena Masses for the Fiesta Senor need not worry since the police developed the symptoms days after the church canceled public Masses last January 12. At least 10 close contacts of the patient have been swabbed and isolated. She is now staying at the IC3 Bayanian Center. Meanwhile, the EOC data showed that 9.45% of the total cases in the city are from the prison facilities. Garganera said this involved inmates who were detained in the police stations and are about to enter Cebu City Jail. Police stations are now required to disinfect and conduct swab tests where the COVID-positive inmate came from. Due to the increasing of cases, the CCPO also asked the EOC to reactivate the border checkpoints in the 40 barangays with high number of cases. As of January 20, Cebu City has 11,575 confirmed COVID-19 cases, 689 of which were active cases. Of the active cases, 350 are currently staying at the NOAA complex, 54 are staying at the IC3 Bayanian Center, 46 are at the public and government hospitals, while the remaining are in private facilities and hotels. NOAA manager Jocelyn Pesquera said they increased the capacity of NOAA complex to 360 to accommodate more patients. Its original capacity is only 316. Charlie Coronel, Sunstar Tonight. The Mandawe City Council will appeal to the Cebu City government to allow traditional jeepney drivers of Mandawe to ply their previous route. This comes after some TUJ drivers in Mandawe were apprehended for entering Cebu City. Kenneth thought a support. The Mandawi City Council will appeal to the Cebu City government to allow the entry and passage of traditional PUJs plying their previous routes. Mandawi City Councilor Jimmy Lumapas has authored a resolution which the council has approved yesterday, requesting the Cebu City government to allow the entry of traditional PUJs with routes from Mandawi City to Ayala Mall, Country Mall and Manalili. The city said they have received a request letter from the Mandawi Transport Cooperative that some drivers entering Cebu City were apprehended. Hil Rituya, the Chief of Staff of Councilor Lumapa, said that the Tri-Cities have an agreement last year to allow traditional jeepneys from their respective cities to resume plying to their previous routes as long as they have complied with the necessary requirements from the transportation agencies to get a special permit. Rituya added, of the 100 traditional PUJs plying Mandawi City to Cebu City routes, only around 20 have resumed their operation. Kenneth Torres, Sunstar Tonight. Six individuals from Central Visayas who were co-passengers of the first case of the new COVID-19 variant in the Philippines have tested negative for the virus. Tari Coronel reports. The Department of Health has confirmed that another co-passenger of the first case of the new COVID-19 variant has tested positive for COVID-19. The number of co-passengers and close contacts who tested positive for the virus has increased to 14. DOH also reported that three more close contacts have yet to be located. Two of the three close contacts are from the National Capital Region, while the other one is from Central Visayas. 
Meanwhile, six other individuals from Central Visayas who had been co-passengers of the first variant case tested negative for COVID-19. DOH Central Visayas spokesperson Dr. Mary Jean Lurece said, though these six passengers boarded the same flight with a the patient, they are not his close contacts. All of them are under isolation. Two of the six passengers are from Bohol, one from Consolacion Cebu, two are from Cebu Province, and one from Negros Oriental. DOH earlier announced that 13 individuals have tested positive for COVID-19 after being exposed to the first new variant case. The patient is a 29-year-old male who is a resident of Quezon City. He traveled to Dubai with his partner. They returned to Manila via Emirates EK332 flight last January 7. Chari Coronel, Sunstar Tonight. All Cebu City residents with quarantine passes, regardless of the last number of the pass, may physically attend the Hubu Mass at the Basilica Minora del Santo Niño de Cebu tomorrow. The Basilica resumed the holding of public masses last Monday. Romain Rivera reports. Cebu City Councilor Philip Zafra, the chairman of the Committee on Public Order, said the residents in Cebu City who have the city-issued Q-Pass can physically attend the Hubo Mass at the Basilica Minore del Santo Niño de Cebu, regardless of the ending of their Q-Pass code. For non-Cebu City residents, they can present their Q-Passes and company IDs. For authorized persons outside of residence or a pours, they can present their Certificate of Employment and ID upon entry to the pilgrim. The Hubo Mass will be held tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. Zafra said strict implementation of health protocols will be observed in the Basilica, such as wearing of face mask and shield. The church will also limit the number of devotees entering the Basilica to 50% to maintain proper distancing. Persons under 15 years old and over 65 years old will still not be allowed to physically attend the Masses. The Basilica resumed the holding of public Masses last Monday, January 18. The Church cancelled the remaining public Masses during the Feast of the Señor Santo Niño to prevent another surge of COVID-19 cases. City and Church officials, though, still encourage the public to attend Masses online. Romain Rivera, Sunstar Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lynn, and this has been Sunstar Tonight. See you again tomorrow. Good night.